Hey, good evening. It's a Tuesday, June 1st. Still is all day. Got the opportunity to be up in uh, some friends in North Carolina tonight. They've got a lovely setting in the backyard here and you can still hear birds and you can see the sun getting ready to set in the background. And tonight for the Every Night Thought, I want to begin talking about a theme that I'm going to actually have the opportunity to preach on in uh, a week from Sunday. And so from Ephesians 4, but not like not thinking the way that the world does, not being caught up in that kind of thinking. So what Paul says in Ephesians 4, 17 is this. I insist on it in the Lord that you no longer think, walk, live, depending upon your translation. They each have the same emphasis, the way that the Gentiles do, which by Gentiles just means basically the world around you, which is not connected to the things of God not connected to God's way of thinking. That's not necessarily awful evil in one sense. It just means it's a different way of looking at it than God. And then what it says is this thinking is futile. Their way of thinking leads to futility. This is the same theme that Paul picks up on in uh, Romans chapter 1 and just expresses it a different way here in Ephesians chapter 4. So in the first 16 verses of chapter 4 of Ephesians, Paul has laid out the way that we're supposed to be thinking as a church. As we come together, as we, the body is built up in love, as we speak the word of truth to each other, speaking the truth in love, as a body of Christ, each part doing its work. And then verse 17, in stark contrast to that, says this, I insist on it, don't think, don't walk the way that the Gentiles do, that the way in worldly thinking, because that thinking is futile. Yes, it's wrong. Yes, it has issues. But the most basic thing about it is, is that it leads to utter futility. It leaves us frustrated. So instead of building our life with the goal of being as fully mature as Christ, of having him as our example, we try and copy the world around us. And as a couple of lines earlier in Ephesians 4, that kind of thinking leads us to all sorts of instability. People driven back and forth one way or the other. And we don't know anymore. And now we get to the point where we think that we're independent. So we get so independent that we even think we can determine our own gender. So for a while the push has been, hey, if you think that you are a different gender than you are right now, go ahead and do that. But now we're finding out that those people who make that transition, they hate it. And this isn't necessarily in regard to Christianity so much and just in regard to the reality of it. It's not working out the way that they wanted it to. That's not being driven back and forth, tossed back and forth. That's what Paul means by the futility of thinking. When we pull God out from the center of everything that we do, when we lose sight of the key doctrines of the church, which the Bible, which tells us that our next breath comes from God, that he holds everything together by his mighty power, that we live in this world, it's his world, not our world, which is huge when we get to parenting in chapter six in Ephesians. But this idea that people are the standard, that's what leads to futile thinking. Because what was solid last year this year is in question and we have in the scriptures recorded beyond this but recorded 3,500 years of consistent truth nowhere in the world can you match this only in the scripture so what we're going to talk about more and more as we get closer to a week from Sunday is how can we avoid this futile thinking? Because we get hurt by the things in the world. We get angry and we become dogmatic and upset. And then to find out that thing we were upset and strong and dogmatic about got changed. So Paul is urging us here, not in the sense of a commandment, do this and don't do that, but in the sense pleading with them. And don't get caught up in trying to be like the world because that way of thinking is futile. Rather than being built up 
and becoming mature as the person of Christ and the growth of the Christian life, where we have stability as we learn God's word, we're tossed back and forth. So what I firmly believed last year or last decade, now I can't believe that anymore. That's what Paul calls futility. And that's the thought for this night. Our strength comes from following Christ, the consistent word of God, and not being tossed back and forth, but by, by living a life which is bound on a relationship with the God of this world who never changes. That's peace. That's hope. Thanks so much for being here tonight. It's really great to be with you. Love to be up in here in North Carolina. Thanks to my friends for making this backyard thing possible. If you haven't hit the subscriptions button, hit that and you know, you'll get the post notifications. Love being with you. Lord willing, we'll see you again tomorrow morning. Have a great night. Bye-bye.